At Houston Colon and Rectal Surgery, we want your surgery to be successful. That is why we have prepared this short video so you can follow some simple steps and achieve the best possible results from your surgery. These simple steps will improve your outcome from surgery, so let's get started. Start exercising today. Any form of exercise, treadmills, jogging, even walking, will help you achieve the best results from your surgery. Start slowly and do a little more every day. Eat better. Eat healthy foods rich in proteins, fruits, and vegetable. Build up your nutrition by drinking Ensure or Boost twice a day. If you are diabetic, use Glucerna. You may add some over-the-counter vitamins or mineral supplements. Fill up your lungs. Perform deep breathing exercise 10 times every hour when awake. Simply expand your chest and take a deep breath in. Again, 10 times every hour when awake. Stop taking your blood thinners. If you take any blood thinners and herbal supplements, stop them before your surgery. Shower the night before and morning of surgery with chlorhexidine or Hiblicans soap. Do not shave the area of surgery. In some cases, you may need to cleanse your bowel before surgery. We will let you know if it is needed. In this case, you will take a clear liquid diet the day before surgery, drink a lot of water, and drink all the laxative that was sent to your pharmacy. On the morning of your surgery, do not eat food or drink beverages after midnight. You may be given a nutritional drink by the hospital, which you should take as instructed. Take all your usual medications with just one sip of water. The only medication you should not take are the diabetic medications. Wear loose and comfortable clothes to the hospital. After the surgery, you may have an IV, some tubes, a urinary or nasal catheter. Don't be alarmed. These will be removed at the appropriate time. You will be rather sleepy. There may be some nausea or soreness in the throat. Ask the nurse for remedy. Remember to stay active. Activity and early ambulation is very important during your hospital stay. The more active you are, the faster your recovery. Walk around the floor a few times a day. Even when you are lying in bed, you can keep yourself active by moving your legs and feet. Instead of using the bed, try to sit in the chair for most of the day. Though some pain is expected after surgery, you should not be too uncomfortable. In fact, pain delays recovery and leads to complications. So take a painkiller injection or pill even before your pain gets bad. Remember to breathe deeply after your surgery. Fill up your lungs. Deep breathing exercises are very important during your post-operative recovery period. Sit up in your bed, take a deep breath, and expand your chest routinely. It is recommended that you do deep breathing exercises with the incentive spirometer at least 10 times every hour. We encourage families to be actively involved and present during your hospitalization. Family members play an important part in emotional support, encouraging physical activity and recovery. We request them to remind you about breathing exercises, leg exercises, and deep breathing at least once every hour. Food is not important for the first couple of weeks. You won't have much of an appetite, may have some nausea, and feel bloated, and that's okay. We do recommend early feeding, but that's to stimulate your GI system, not for nutrition. Instead, use Ensure or Boost for nutrition twice a day. So just eat little portions only. Chewing gum is also recommended during your hospital stay. When you are home, take a walk a few times a day. Do deep breathing exercises and sit in a chair. Take pain medications and all of your other medications. Remove your dressing and leave wounds exposed to the air. Take a shower, wash your wounds with antibacterial soap, and eat small portions and use Ensure or Glucerna for nutrition. Keep a log of your activity, walking, and breathing so you can bring them to follow-up appointments. 
There's no need to cover wounds unless you are instructed to do so. And there is no restriction on food. And you can eat whatever you want as long as you eat in small portions. You should call the doctor if you have uncontrollable pain, a fever of 101, persistent nausea or vomiting, or purulent drainage, excessive swelling, or bleeding from the incision. Some pain, nausea, or constipation is normal, but if it is excessive, then call your doctor. The painkillers may cause dizziness, drowsiness, and nausea. Do not use alcohol with your painkillers. Some constipation is expected. Do not drive for three to four weeks after surgery. Avoid strenuous activity. Do not lift more than 10 pounds for six weeks after surgery. Make an appointment to see your doctor in one to two weeks. Bowel movements may be somewhat irregular, so expect some constipation or diarrhea. We hope this video gives you a general idea about your surgery. However, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at 281-583-1300. Also, further information can be obtained at our website www.colonsurgeonhouston.com.